I heard that my grandma is a huge fan of the show, so shout out to you, grandma. Duck Smucker loves you. Hello once again, dedicated followers. So it's been a pretty busy week for me. All of last week I was uh, hustling caricatures like I was telling you in that last video. I uh, hit up a fair out of town on the weekend, did pretty well. Pretty restless when I got back Sunday night, so uh, called up Mike and advised him that we were going fishing on Monday. At about 10 a.m. on Monday morning, Mike and I, we grabbed the kayak and headed out to Lowboro Lake, where I've had plenty of successful days before. And those of you out there who haven't fished out of a kayak, this is a good video to watch, because it gives you a lot of insight as to the kind of issues you're gonna face when you're out there. So that day, we fished the east side of the bridge there. We didn't make it to the lake side, I just kept us in the middle of the channel there. When we first got out, it's pretty shallow for the first kilometer or so. Then we got into deeper waters. Um, I was calculating the depth using my anchor system on the kayak. I've got an eight pound mushroom weight tied to 100 feet of rope, which is fastened to a buoy and then fastened to the kayak trolley system. So every time I plopped the anchor down, we were sitting at about 10 to 15 feet. And that's where the fish were. Unfortunately, most of the catches of the day, as you will see, were rock bass. So I'm interested to see if any of you other fishermen have been out to Lower Borough Lake and are catching more rock bass than uh, your target species there. I've only caught one pike on this, and it was a de it was like the the big one we caught that day. You and I were out at Collins, but it uh it broke off as soon as I caught it. I saw it like flip on its belly though, and I I could see the size of it. It was like first cast in the right body of water. Great job, big guy! Look at that. Great job, first largemouth of the day, sir. First fish of the day. Excellent. We haven't even been out here an hour. Excellent. He's got some holes on the sides. He's been, he's been caught before. Oh yeah? There he goes. Nice job. Fish number one. Got it. Yeah, a little, little large mouth, baby. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Keep chugging. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, did he get off? You got off? Nope. Oh, no, he got up. Look at that rod, Ben. I love it. I'm telling you, this rod is the best. Is it a little smallmouth? No, it's a largey. Come on, bud. Come on. Bigger than mine. Go on. Fish on, too? Don't fish. Don't oh, fish. man. Double whammies. Nice. Well, that's a huge freaking rock bass. Are they good to eat? No, we can't. Wow. They're, they're invasive species. To the uh, to the area, they. They're f fishes the way there. First large mouth. He just got himself up. There you go. That was a big rock bass, though, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, release. Take it large mouth. Ow! Shit! Stuck my fucking thumb on the way out there. That's three fish in two minutes. Three fish in two minutes. Yeah. I don't know. Fishing straight. Yeah, I'm straight out there. Can I go like right there. Yeah. Right there? Yeah, you can. Was that? was that a bite already? That was. Shit. I thought that was like a lock. Oh. Get it back I, in there. I gotta stop pulling too early, dude. Yeah, drag just a little bit and this, the, basically the second you feel that real tension, that's when you can yeah. reef it. The bite, you start pulling it, right? And then, yeah. And then, yeah. Damn. Let me sit down with you. They're on your, they're on your right there. Oh, I got fish. <laughs> All these flies are conjugating by you. They're actually really not even bothering you. It's funny. Another rock bass. That four fish already? Yep. Yeah. Three. Yeah, four fish. Yeah, I think we're at we're at like ten feet here. Me 
too, man. I want to catch my four powder, five powder for the okay. summer right yeah. now, yeah. before before Bob's Lake. I think over three pounds will be happy. We'll, we'll, we'll make it happen, dude. There's big fish in here. I'm gonna have All right, so we're on the Calcutta kayak, fishing Sanko worms. I got uh, green and pumpkin. I'm gonna troll this line right over here. I'm kind of drifting away from this shallow point. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's shallow over there. There's a drop off. And we're sitting probably at 10, 15 feet right here. Because what I meant to do was this. Not that. But whatever that'll do. I'll let that sit there. Throw some line out. Now closed. And control that mother Rock bass, rock bass on the trolling <clears throat> line. Well, what do you know? Don't fuck with me. Get the fuck back there. Well, at least I got my worm. Hey, you get up nice and easy in that thing. That's great. Well, there's like little foot things. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. You're reeling this thing, you give it a little bit of a a little jerk. And it just, just makes it look like the fish is a little violent, you know? Like he's... Right. Say hi. Well, hello there, folks. It's nice out here. I got to get another GoPro. As you can see, there's a mount there on the front of the kayak for it. You could literally be recording a f***ing the whole time. You know what I'm saying? You calling it? Come on. Bro, it's a largey. Second large mouth of the day, same size as the other one. Ooh, I got him in the f throat. Oh no. I don't have my pliers with me. Here, give him over here. So close to getting that that hook out. You're out. Now you got a throat full of blood. Okay. But he's still kicking. Oh, finally. Okay, well, that was weird. I think it worked. Bugs are better. So many of them. <gasps> Sorry. Okay. Serious? Once you're standing in the kayak, the issue of balance becomes a lot more apparent. Limited time standing in the kayak is probably best. After I almost tipped us, I pretty much stayed uh, seated the rest of our adventure. <sighs> All right, I need a bail system. Damn it. Okay, well, I got that on camera. That's hilarious. Good day to be out here. Oh, that was a good bite. Come on. Really? Come on. Yeah. Take it. Yep. Take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Serious? Yeah. No. No? No. Nope. That was a big end, dude. Oh, he jumped off. No. Dude. No, that was a nice pass. That was a good. Oh.
Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, he did. Damn. All right. Well, good spot. Good spot. Right. Dude, there was something bigger down there. Look at the fin on him, though. Oh, yeah. You almost have like a little bit of purple in that uh, in that bait, eh? Or in that in that Sanko worm. Get back on. Get out of here, bro. I'm recording. I'm recording. Another rock bass, eh? How many Ow. rock bass? How many rock bass? The the boater who's just behind us there that you can probably barely see. That's all he was catching too. What was it, like five I've caught? Oh my god, dude. McPhee the powerhouse. What kind of motor do you have on your boat? I got a grown ass man paddling me. Oh. Okay. We're into something. Okay. Oh, nice. Large mouth. All right. All right, we'll fish this area. Come here, bud. They're all the same size today. It's not an eater. Bigger than this one. This is about the size of that second one I caught. Very nice looking bass. All right, piss and vinegar. There you go. Had something, but it could have been all these weeds too. They're drifting us pretty shallow. Oh well, I can I can pull us uh, around if you want. Paddles pretty well from the front. I'm surprised. Wow. I'll paddle back. I've got a lot of time to myself this summer, not having an actual job, so I'll be out there fishing again awfully soon just wanted to do a special shout out to everybody who's been watching the channel and enjoying what i'm putting out for you shout out to grandma shout out to moms shout out to aunt gina shout out to aunt tina who are all watching my channel regularly i love you ladies grandma get better we're all praying for you thanks for watching folks